A few months ago, I took on the impossible job of managing the worst Premier League club, Sheffield United. The goal was to make them England's best club, but instead, all we did was concede goal after goal after goal. And eventually, I gave up. But today, I'm here to right those wrongs. My managerial ability has been questioned, so once again, I'm going to attempt to fix Sheffield United. But I'm gonna have to do it from the very beginning. And I really don't know how we're gonna do it, because this team is not even good enough to survive the Premier League. But this time, no excuses. I cannot give up. This video will not end until I make Sheffield United the world's best club. But wait, guys. I think first I owe you all an apology for ending the Sheffield career mode. You guys know me. I don't just end career modes like that. And this was like one of the first times I'd ever done it. And I really felt bad. Because you guys invested your time in watching the series and I feel like I didn't give you all a satisfying ending. But at that point, guys, I was just so burnt out with all the FC24 content. We were literally uploading daily on the main channel, every other day on the second channel, and I was also trying to grow the Ultimate Team channel. It really took a toll on my mental health, and I just had to scale back so that I could keep the energy and quality in the videos up here. But don't you worry, guys. I'm working on bringing series content back to the channel in a bit of a different way, so stay tuned for that. For now, we've got to finish what we started and fix, Sheffield United. Okay, guys, I've got all excited and I said that, but look at this team. It is not a Premier League level. Level club. I think we're gonna be here for a while because first season there's a good chance we could end up getting relegated. I mean just look at the Premier League table in real life. Sheffield United are dead last and our budget too is Bruh. just 16 million. The only good thing about this team is that we've got a few decent players like Cameron Archer, Souza, Emmett Hodgick, Bogle. But yeah apart from that it, it gets really bad pretty soon. Do you know what I'm gonna do first? A massive club clear out. Any player that I remotely don't need I'm selling. Somehow if I can get our budget up to 30 million. I think I can make the signings to keep us alive in the Premier League, but it's not going to be easy. And so the club clear out began. Whoever we got a decent offer for, we sold. I even sold our highest rated player who was our goalkeeper, Fod Ringham. And you might think, why on earth would you do that? He was your only good keeper. Well, exactly. I want to change that because we're not going to do anything in the Premier League with a 75 rated keeper. And guess what? After all the player sales, we do indeed have about 31 million to spend and instantly we're putting that in a goalkeeper. If I'm not correct, Big Dean Henderson has played for Sheffield United. This could be a match made in heaven. Okay, if we can get him for like 15 million. Ooh, let's be cheeky. 13 million. First offer. Let's see what they say. Ah, uh, okay, well, that, that's how the Sheffield United career mode is gonna be. We're gonna have to deal with a lot of failure and a lot of rejection. But am I giving up this time? Absolutely not. It's time for round two for negotiations. We're gonna go in with 15 million as my first offer, and this time they've countered massive Yo, 22 million. Outrageous for Dean Henderson. Let's try and get them down to 17 million. Every penny counts here. Ah, uh, it's, it's not going to work, Will Will. Well, 18 million, to be fair, would be a good deal, I think. Let, let's see. 18 million for Dean Henderson, and that's work. And with that, we've made our first signing with Sheffield United. Dean Henderson, welcome to Sheffield. Hopefully, with him in goal, we can avoid relegation. But I don't think just bringing in a goalkeeper is going to save us. Ah, uh, but with 12 million, we're not really going to get any anyone good. Yo, what about a free agent? Luis Chavez, an 80 rated free agent, 27 years old. I think we need to snap him up. Isn't he the guy who scored a banger at the World Cup 2022? Bro, let's let's bring him in. We need him. I kid you not, a signing like this could literally change our season. And would you believe it? We've actually pulled it off. The Mexican is on his way to England to join Sheffield. Imagine his shock when he joins a relegation threatened club. The smile that he's got on his face right now, that's not gonna last long. Oh, with Chavez coming in that midfield looks a lot better. Plus, we've got Dean Henderson to cover our defense. Ah, but the attack's a problem. Brewster's just 68 rated. Can we do something in 9 million? Maybe another free agent? I think that's our only hope. Okay, we may not have found a striker, but Sofian Bufal, I mean, I think he can do the job. 76 rated. There you go. It was easy convincing him to join. I guess because he was unemployed. With the 8 million we've now got left, I'm just going to try and hire the best coaches available because that's going to be extremely important. Guys, I think we've done the best we can to improve this team. We're now getting through the first season to see if we can survive. End of the season and we actually did it. Yo, I'm, I'm surprised. Of course, we had a negative 30 goal difference, but we did get relegated and we were saved by like 11 points. I think that's a massive dub for the first season. And look at that. Free agent Bufal was our top scorer. Cameron Archer did really well too, going up in his overall as well. Chavez was a solid signing. Just the start 
boys. I know it's going to get harder from here. But now that we've shown that we can survive in the Premier League, I want to kind of aim for a mid-table position. Season 2 and the journey with Sheffield continues. Honestly, I think we had a very successful first season. The overalls on our players look so much better now. 81 rated goalkeeper, 78 rated Emmett Hodgick. Yo, in fact, he's so good. I think we should make him our captain. But yeah, I'm honestly liking the look of this team. Things are definitely going a lot better this time around. Oh, and a budget of 30 million? I think we can do a lot with that. Firstly, though, if you've noticed, a certain someone has gone back to his pedant club. And that's my boy Luke Thomas. Yo, I need him back here at Sheffield. We were building something with him. He's 75 rated. We're bringing him back. Come on, I need to get this done for like cheap. 5 million would legit be the dream. And oh, looks like it's happened. But bro, this, this guy doesn't have a body. What is this kind of a glitch? I'm confused. But I guess it doesn't matter because we do end up signing Luke Thomas. He's back at Sheffield. Guys, with the remaining 23 million, I think we need to bring in a serious center back. Especially if we want to play this five back system, which I think is the only logical thing to do with a club like Sheffield. Yeah, we need someone absolutely incredible at the back. And someone like Trevor Chalobah could really up our game at the back. 24 years old, can play in multiple positions. Oh, the price is a bit tricky, but I think we can do this. Okay, we've got 23 million. We've got money to work with here, but let's still try and get a deal. 14 million first offer, and whoa, that's actually worked. We'll take that. And with that, we've made another top tier signing for Sheffield. With the rest of our money, we continued investing in our coaching staff. Think it's another good season of improvements, getting Luke Thomas on a permanent deal, bringing in Chaloba. Again, progress is going to be slow with Sheffield, but we're here for the grind. Let's see how high we can finish in season two. End of the season and okay, slow progress. Our goals conceded has gone from 30 now to minus 10, which isn't too bad. 44 points as well this season finishing 12th. I think that's good progress, man. I wanted mid-table and we kind of got exactly that. But I guess the important thing is the overall growth of the team. We've now got two defenders with 80 plus overalls. Henderson's 84. Suze has gone up to 81. Archer slowly growing up as well. And oh, Brewster off the bench is been a really valuable striker and this time Cameron Archer was the guy up top for us let's go and he's only 23 he's really turning out to be the main man for us but now in season three it's finally time we take things one step further I want to break into the top 10 with Sheffield United for that though I can't help but think we need to give Cameron Archer more support up top I think we need to give him a great strike partner we do have our biggest budget yet 42 million to spend but we might be able to increase that budget if we sell Sofian Bufal. He's 31. I think it might be the perfect time to cash in on him. And yes, indeed, we've sold Bufal. Had to do it, boys. But I respect Bufal. He came in, helped us avoid relegation, and we're getting a good amount of money for him. Oh, man. Seeing a budget like this at Sheffield United, oh, it's 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 making me feel things. Daddy, chill. Hear me out, guys. Victor Boniface might actually be him. 81 rated, only 24. And I think he should fit in our budget. I mean, we'll only find out when we put in an offer so i'm gonna start with let, let's do 33 million first offer just to see what leverkusen say oh wow they're willing to do this for 35 that's incredible do you know what i might be able to get this down to 33 then bro this would be a fantastic deal for a striker like boniface and there you go we've actually pulled it off finally cameron archer has a bit of help as boniface is gonna be his next strike partner welcome to sheffield okay guys now we've got another problem i was really expecting to spend all our money on a strike but instead, we've got about 20 million left. With that 20 million, I think maybe we can do like a midfield upgrade. Especially if we sell Hamo. We've got an offer for him. Ooh, about 10 million. That's honestly not too bad. I'll take the cash. Offers from West Ham as well. And there you go. We've got another 10 million coming in, with which I think we can sign a pretty good midfielder. With the extra money, we were able to sign Alex Scott. Yo, this kid is only 21, but 78 rated. What a talent to have. With the signing of Alex Scott, I thought I was done with my transfers for the season because we only had like 4 million left. But then I realized that we've got barely any depth in the center back positions. Guys, with just 4 million free agents are our only option. Okay, Giovanni Casade, have we just found the next Bonucci, Chiellini or whatever? And of course, I'm signing him up. This is by far the strongest team we've had. And I'm really hoping it's going to be enough to make a push for the top 10. In fact, maybe even more. It kind of depends on our luck. But let's see what happens. End of the season and of course 7th in the Premier League. That's our biggest finish.
reached yet. Positive goal difference as well. I told you this time I mean business and we are gonna fix Sheffield United. Oh, the overalls as well. I'm sure Bonnie Face has had a massive season. 16 goals, not bad at all. But Cameron Archer, fair enough, a 27 goal season. That's crazy. And look at our free agent Luis Chavez balling out at the age of 30, man. 83 rated now as well. Alex Scott debut season balled out. We're building something your man at Sheffield. And soon I think we're gonna be up there fighting with the big dogs. By the way, guys, this grind with Sheffield is unbelievably difficult. And if you appreciate that, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. We're now in our fourth season with Sheffield United. And the truth is, if we want to push for top four, fight with the biggest clubs in the Premier League, we need to do something about squad depth. Bro, because this is really bad. We've only got 18 players at the club. And I'm not entirely sure because we finished like seventh last season. Are we going to get conference league football this season? I'm not sure. We might just. But anyways, this season, once again, our budget's 41 million. That's the thing. Our budget isn't really going to increase unless we start finishing in the top four. So might as well use this money and improve the overall depth of our squad. And for that, we start negotiations with Jurgen Klopp. Because I wanted to sign 24-year-old Vandenberg. He's 77 rated. Will be a great option for squad depth. And eventually, for 14 million, we pull this deal off. Oh, yes, guys. This is a top-tier signing. I mean, he's got crazy good stats. And since we're playing a five-at-the-back system, we definitely need some depth in the centre-back positions. We continued the signing spree by bringing in Calvin Ramsey for 7 million. Again, guys, a right wing back, young, good potential. The more squad depth we have, the better it's going to be for the overall of our squad. But we still have 16 million left. And I want to bring in a backup CDM as well. And Dan Neal from West Ham looks like a great option. Oh, but here we might be stretching our budget, boys. This might get really difficult, but ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can pull this off. But hang on, we got a couple of million extra from season ticket sales. And that extra money was enough for us to complete this signing. Also this season, I'm investing in Giovanni Casade stocks. That basically means I'm going to put him as a starter and see how he does. Because this guy could literally be the next Bonucci or Chiellini. But yeah, the bigger question is, are we in any of the European competitions? And oh, we're in the Europa League. We're getting through this season to see how we do both in the Premier League and the Europa League. Sheffield United in the Europa League. Nah, man. Being in the Europa League is so freaking cool. We finished second in the group as well. Oh, but uh. AC Milan came from the Champions League and ended up kicking us out. But hey, good experience. Ah, oh, but the Europa League affected us in the Premier League and we could only finish eighth. But hey, at least the team grew massively. Look at Victor Boniface up to an 86 overall. Cameron Archer too growing slowly, but well. And I told you, giving Boniface time and look at him, he's scoring 20 goals a season. But guys, eighth in the Premier League is simply not enough. We need to start making a push further up because the truth is, I think our squad's there. Look at the back line that we've got. Cassidy has grown tremendously. Season 5, I think we need to make some big changes. Oh, and we do have our biggest budget yet. I think it's the money coming in from the Europa League and whatnot. But yeah, 61 million. With that money, I think we could do bits with this team, honestly. Oh, and I think I found a really good deal. Matthias Nunes from Manchester City. Contract expiring in 12 months. We could get him for a really good price. And he's 84 rated in his prime. Yo, our midfield will be so much better with him. Come on, I need to get him for like 30 million. That would be just unbelievable. And it's actually worked. Let's go. Who would have thought we'd be signing a player from Manchester City? That's crazy. Welcome Nunes to Sheffield. Oh, that midfield now looks actually insane. If we can get a bit of improvements in the fullbacks department, because we still have about 24 million left. I found this guy from Hellas Verona. Josh Doig from Scotland. Never heard of him before, but he's 82 rated. Oh, but we don't have the money for this. Maybe a swap deal? I'm sorry, Luke Thomas. You're 26. You're not growing all that much. I'm putting you in the swap deal. We'll chuck in another 10 million and see if we can get a deal done here. And I think I paid too much for this, but it's fine. Let's get Doig into the club. With that, we've got ourselves a new fullback. This is by far the best team we've had here at Sheffield United. We're getting through the Premier League season to see if we can make it count. End of the season and we came so close to qualifying for Champions League. Ah, oh, that is so frustrating. But we got to look at the positives, boys. Fifth in the Premier League. That's actually massive. Oh, and I can see why that happened. Look at Boniface and Archer's overalls. Oh, Boniface scored 28 goals. What a beast. New signing Nunes dude, did really well. And you know who's been one of the unsung heroes for us? Luis Chavez. We got this man for literally free. He's now 32, but 86 rated. Honestly, what a player. Even at six goals and five assists this season. Honestly, this team definitely starting to look like it can fight for the Premier League title. And maybe 
next season, we'll give it a go. Guys, our budget is 138 million. Am I am I seeing things? Nah, I think we do have the biggest budget we've ever had. Looks like the board also want us to make it to the Champions League. And I'm thinking with that money, we could literally bring in a crazy center back because our midfield looks great right now. Our attack looks solid as well. Yeah, a crazy center back is, I think, the next upgrade we need. Yo, an 88 rated Tomori would just be insane. I know he's 30 years old, but he'll give us two to three good seasons. And I think that's what we need right now. Oh, but we're gonna have to pay a lot for this. But hey, this time we do have the money. Let's straight away start with 70 million and just see what AC Milan think and well, what? 70 million directly accepted. And just like that, we've made our most expensive signing yet in Fikayo Tomori. Welcome to Sheffield. Guys, we still have 62 million left. I know Tomori was a big upgrade, but I'm now thinking we could also maybe upgrade our midfield by selling Luis Chavez. Guys, he's 86. He's only going to get worse from here. Should we cash in on him? We could get upwards of 45 million. Then we'll have 100 million to sign any midfielder we want. It feels kind of a ruthless thing to do, but I think we need to. If we want to make Sheffield United the best club in England, we've got to make decisions like this. I told you, boys, the offers we're getting for Luis Chavez are crazy. 55 million? I think I'll accept it, boys. Let's just take the cash and run. Thank you, Luis Chavez, for everything you've done. You came in as a free agent. You delivered for us. Helped us get to where we are. And now we're also getting 55 million for you. But now's the fun part. We've got 120 million to basically sign any midfielder we want. What are we saying about Enzo? Fernandez at Sheffield United. We've got the money. Or do we? I don't know. This might be extremely expensive. But if we can pull this off, I think we might be able to win the Premier League this season itself. Yo, this, this might be the craziest transfer we've ever done. But I don't even know if it's possible. My first offer, 98 million. Straight away rejected. I just I just don't think we have the cash right now for a player like Enzo Fernandez. Ah, maybe instead we could get Ryan Gravenberch. He's played in the Premier League before for Liverpool. So this might make a bit of sense. Guys, in the same window, we might be breaking our transfer record once again. 80 million is going to be my first offer for this. And well, 84.1, I think I'm ready to do it. This has been the craziest transfer window in the history of Sheffield United. I cannot believe we're signing a player of the caliber of Brian Gravenberch. This is by far the craziest team we've ever had. Forget qualifying for Champions League, boys. I think it's time we make a push for the Premier League title. But with us being in the Europa League, can we actually pull this off? End of the season and okay, we're off to a flying start because, well, FA Cup final. Yo, this could actually be huge for this team winning a trophy. But let's see if we can do it on the pitch first. Trophy for Sheffield United isn't coming and oh, that is so disappointing. But hey, it's good that finally after all these seasons, we're amongst the mix of the big clubs. And meanwhile, in the Premier League, so close, but yet so far. Beating Man City to the title is going to be a tremendous task. But at least next season, we're going to be in the Champions League. In the Europa League as well, we went further than ever. Quarterfinals, but yeah. The team we've built is actually so good. I'm, I'm like unsure what we're missing. But next season, I guess we're going to have to just figure things out because I think time is running out. We need to start winning the Premier League and the Champions League soon. Last season, I saw how good this team was. We almost won the Premier League. We went to the FA Cup final. I want to give this team a chance. Because, like, where can we realistically make upgrades? Like, we've got an amazing player in almost every position, and I want to give them a chance to keep growing. So I'm going to trust the likes of Souza, Cameron Archer, Bogle. We're not going to upgrade them yet, and I'm wondering if we've built a team good enough that can finally win the Premier League. And would you believe it? First game of the season against Man City. If we can beat them fair and square in the Premier League, that would give me a lot of hope. And let's see if we can actually pull this off. And yes, we've beaten Man City. But there's still a whole Premier League season ahead. But this, this has given me hope. We've made it to the end of the Premier League season. This could be it for us. And I'm seeing Man City at fifth. This is brilliant. That could actually give us a chance. We're, we're in the top three. We're in the top two. And yes, we've done it, boys. Finally, Sheffield United have won the Premier League. Oh, Oh my days, what a grind this has been. And it looks like we've won the Premier League with one of the lowest totals ever. Just 73 points, but it doesn't matter. We've done it. Oh, but wait, extremely disappointing in the Champions League though, finishing third in the group. Ah, oh, that's kind of taken all the fun of winning the Premier League away. But wait a minute, we've managed to reach the finals of the Europa League instead. This would give us great momentum to try and win the Champions League next season. Nah, this team 
Right, got the job done in the Premier League. Let us down a bit in the Champions League, but then they've recovered well. Let's go out there and win the Europa League. Come on, boys, we can do it. We've lost one final. We're not about to lose another. Europa League for Sheffield United. Let's go. We also managed to win the FA Cup this season. That's crazy. Nah, guys, we've legit perfected the Sheffield United team. And now there's only one trophy left. It's the big one, the Champions League. Season 8 with Sheffield United. We're champions of England. We've won the Europa League. We've won the FA Cup. I think we've got what it takes to win the Champions League. The question is, do I want to improve the team a little bit more? With 353 million in the bank, I feel like I have to. The only position I think we could do with a bit of an upgrade is the center mid spot. We could get a better midfielder than Matthias Nunes. And I'm thinking, why not just go crazy? We're trying to win the Champions League. Signing Jude Bellingham would be more than a statement. One of the world's best players. And I think we have got the money to make this happen. And what a statement it would be to sign him from a club like Real Madrid, who are known for winning the Champions League. But we're not going to pay the release clause. Instead, I'm going to put a 150 million offer. That's the biggest transfer fee I think we'll ever pay in the Sheffield United job. And it's going to be even more expensive. They want 180 million. Ah, this could be the transfer that gets us the Champions League. So I'm willing to do it. 180 million for Jude Bellingham. I'm pretty sure the wages we're about to pay Jude are going to be more than the entire wage budget our team had in season one. Like, it's crazy. But that's how much we've grown this team. And I cannot believe we've pulled it off. Jude Bellingham, a Sheffield United player. With Jude Bellingham now in our team, we have to give it everything to win the Champions League. Okay, looks like we got lucky with an easy group stage draw and we topped our group. And in the round of 16, we made light work of fine odd. What a finals now against Atleti. This is where things are going to start getting tricky. First leg against Atleti. We need to get a solid advantage, but I don't know if we can do it. We do. Let's go. We just need to stay calm, get the job done in the second leg. Can we do that? And we just about do a two-all draw. Of course, man. Of course, we had to get Real Madrid in the semi-finals. But you know what? We're Premier League winners. Our team is absolutely incredible now. I'm not scared of Real Madrid. I think we can take them on. Let's see what happens in this first leg. And it's a 3-2 win. Let's go, boys. Matthias Nunes. Remember Matthias Nunes? We actually benched him for Bellingham. Instead, he's come on as a super sub and helped us win. And in the second leg, we get the job done. And here we go. Champions League final against Roma of all teams. I don't think we'll get a better opportunity to make this Sheffield United team the world's best club. It's time to right my wrongs with Sheffield. We've got to do it now. It comes down to this, boys. One final game with Sheffield United. Champions League final. Let's win this. Yo, I'm so excited to use some of the players. Here we've got Cassidy on the ball. The next Chiellini. Okay, uh, um, uh, that passing was a bit sus. He's managed to track nope. back. And oh, good defending there. In the attack, I'm so keen to see what Boniface can do because we've made him an absolute beast. Bro, his pace is unstoppable. He might actually <laughs> score. No, the keeper saves it. Goal from a set piece would be nice, but the header goes wide. Oh, don't forget, we've got Jude Bellingham in the team. And look at him dribble. Still Jude looking for the pass for Cameron Archer. has gotten in a good position, but the keeper saves again. We've been all over Roma in this one. This is the Champions League. Of course, Roma are going to come in with opportunities and maybe one right now. We've got to defend well. Oh, Chalaba, that was a really good tackle. Kraven Birch, fake shot. Then a finesse shot. Oh, that was so close. Cameron Archer does brilliantly. Strikes it so well and it's off the post. How many chances do we need? Bellingham looking for a cross at the far post. This might work. Bonnie face. Oh, that was brilliant. Finally, we get the well-deserved goal to take the lead. Bonnie face in the box. Oh, this cross from Bellingham as well. And then Jaden Bogle on the other side. It was so well worked. But it's only half time, 45 minutes more. I think if we get one more goal, we should be able to get it done. Bellingham has honestly been crazy to drive the ball forward. Looking for Graven Birch. Cross for Boniface. Oh, he struck that one so well. Boniface is insane. Surely that's enough to win us the Champions League. Well, if that wasn't enough, surely this is a Boniface hat trick. It's done. We're taking Sheffield United all the way to that Champions League trophy. And it's done, boys. After eight seasons of hard work, we've taken Sheffield United to the Champions League trophy. And with that, hopefully, I've fixed my managerial reputation. If you enjoyed this journey with Sheffield, I did a more challenging fixing challenge, and it was with Wrexham. Click here to watch that.